In the health center tonight, as women approach menopause, they go through a hormonal shift that can lead to weight gain, insomnia, depression, and a list of symptoms that aren't so fun. Well, many women try medication, but a Lancaster County woman says there is a better way. Kendra Nichols reports. The Rejuvenation Center in Libitz is helping women tackle health issues with natural hormone therapy. That when your stress gets high, Kathy, it increases your um, cortisol levels. Don Catillo is the author of The Hormone Shift and owner of the center. She says hormones are great, but when they act up or become imbalanced, well, that's when the problems start. The symptoms, I classify them weight, mood, skin for sure, but sleep as well. All those things together, and a woman sometimes doesn't know where to turn. So what causes our hormones to become imbalanced? It's stress and the hormone it produces called cortisol. Our cortisol levels goes up and it drains our progesterone. So now you're low in this good hormone that's keeping you thin, smiling, happy, and, and able to sleep. And it makes you what's called estrogen dominant. And that imbalance is simple, but we need to fix it. Right. Wendy Stauffer suffered from severe endometriosis. At 46, she had a full hysterectomy. She was always tired, couldn't lose weight, and was even dealing with tremors. She tried medications, but nothing worked. So she tried the natural way, a homeopathic cream that Wendy rubs on her arm and is absorbed into her body. I don't wake up with the night sweats anymore. I don't have the irritability anymore. Um, I'm more alert. Uh, just more energy. Wendy also lost 20 pounds in about a month. Were you surprised that this worked? Yes. <laughs> I mean, I had tried everything, and that's why I'm like, I've, I've got to try this natural. I just feel a woman deserves to look and feel her best at any age. So when you balance your hormones naturally, weight goes, aging slows, and you feel, and you feel your best at any age. Working for you, Kendra Nichols, ABC 27 News.